everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Vita Luca and today we're going to be talking about the things that I bought in order to prepare myself for my surgery. Now, I completely realize that I am absolutely blessed and privileged to be able to actually prepare for a surgery and not to just have it happen where I was in some type of accident or just something goes wrong and then I need body part amputated or I need my shoulder redone or, you know, I end up with an injury of some kind that leaves me, you know, not in the same condition that I was before. So I do have to say, like, I am super grateful that I get to choose this decision and make this choice, even though it is the only thing that that can be done in order to fix my shoulder as is like there's no way it's gonna get better it's only gonna get worse from here and it's only going to happen more frequently I just want to go over some of the products that I bought that can maybe help you or somebody else that you know that could be going through a similar situation where they are going to lose an entire arm I'm not getting it removed I'm getting shoulder surgery, a laparoscopic procedure in order to repair the capillaries and other ligaments and stuff all within my shoulder just because I've dislocated it eight times and that's all happened in the last three years and three of them happened a week apart from each other. It needs to be done and it should have been done like two years ago. It should have been done in 2018 to be honest by Canada and it just wasn't. So now I'm in the Czech Republic. They gave me a three strike rule. I hit all three strikes so here we are. One of the things that I bought just because I want to go put it in the bathroom is why we're doing this first is a loofah on a stick. I have a loofah that's not on a stick, but I was hoping that this would be able to help me reach other areas because I'm not as flexible as I am with my left arm than I am with my right arm, which is another reason why it makes it all the worse that I can easily dislocate it. A loofah on a stick, A, help lather up the soap, be able to put it in more places just to make my life a little bit easier. And I'm not very good at using this yet because I'm getting my non-dominant arm after the surgery and I'm not not gonna have my dominant arm so life's gonna suck and I'm also not allowed to use my arm at all in any way shape or form and I'll have to be stuck at my side for six weeks and then when I shower it has to be by my side without me able to do anything and so not exactly fun. Lufa on a stick also lufa not on a stick but I'm not gonna bring that one but it just helps make the lather and then spread it around everywhere so that's nice. Number two thing before I go put the lufa back is I got an easier skincare regime which actually I wasn't doing any at all. So now I got a skincare regime and I made it easier for me to be able to do it with one arm. So if you want to go see that video, it's a link up there. I show both before my surgery and then as well as doing my skincare after my surgery. So you can see how it works with just one arm. So number two thing that I bought was an iPad with a keyboard and a pencil. So I will be using my left hand. It's not my dominant hand, but this pencil is thick enough that I can kind of hold it like I would normally. And then, you know, I can learn how to write. iPad basically picks up all the right letters that I'm trying to write anyway so like that's nice but I also write a lot of emails for my job it has keyboard it's a smaller keyboard which is nice than like my MacBook that I have so this is what I'll be using for essays because I'm also a student and that's fun and I paid for this semester and so yeah I hate how they make you pay like a few months in advance um, so I can't just cancel because I won't get my money back so still in school still need to work Great for writing essays, great for, you know, writing emails. I can easily do it with one hand, so that's nice. And then again, there's always the pencil, there's the text-to-speech option. It's got many different things. So yeah, we got the iPad for that. And I can do almost everything that I need to do for my job on it, and I can do everything for my school on it. So that that's why. It's just a better option. It's smaller, it's portable, it's easier. So another thing that I got, this little brush thing. Um, I use this in the shower to lather in the shampoo into my hair. Because my problem with my left hand is I don't create a good lather. I'm going to put it down because it's dripping all over me. But I don't, I can't create a good enough lather with just my left hand. It's normally like a two-hand job and then a two-hand scrub. So the brush should do a better job. I don't know if it actually is, but it should do a better job than, you know, just with my left hand. So... That's why I got that. My work bought me another mouse pad. So now I have two that are gonna sit on either side because currently I am right-handed. So I have a stick on mouse pad that's stuck to my right side. Can't exactly peel it off the desk. Kind of like a one use product. And so I got my work to buy me another mouse pad so I can have it for my left side, even though this is a right-handed mouse pad. Oh, well, I'll put it upside down. I'll use it, I'll make it work. I don't care. I have something for the other side of my desk. I don't have to use a book because that was the alternative. Some of the other stuff that I bought, if we want to go back to the, my bed here. So this is my side of the bed. It is much higher now because I went to Yisk and I bought 
two mattress toppers because I liked the feeling of it being doubled on top of each other. So I bought two of them to double on top of each other instead of just, you know, getting one. I bought two because I was like, oh, two feels comfy. One feels cheap. I bought one of the cheaper ones that they had and then it was on sale, which made it even more cheaper. So I was like, yeah, we'll just buy two and we'll put them on top of each other and that should get my ideal thing. But then I also bought two more pillows so that you can see the blue there, the blues behind. I bought those two pillows in case I need additional comfort. The, my husband only sleeps with one pillow, so this pillow comes to my side at night, but I put it over there during the day, so A, the bed looks nicer, and B, I don't have room on my bed for it anyways, and I realized that because I also have this massive pillow under here too. That's a 70 by 80 centimeter pillow that I just have laying down, and that's meant to cover my back and my shoulders. I kind of sleep like in an upright position, kind of like this. I would say like that. I sleep like that because for me... I don't know what kind of brace that they're going to give me. I have no idea if I'm gonna be in a brace or if I'm gonna be in a sling. They say you get a sling. That might be just what they call the brace. Like, I don't know if that's just lost in translation because all the documents are in Czech and I Google translated them in order to understand them. So I don't know if that's a lost in translation or if I'm actually gonna go to bra or a sling instead of a brace. I have no idea. Preparing for both. I was super uncomfortable in my brace when I would have to sleep and that was for three weeks. Like that was the maximum I wore, it was three weeks. I cannot imagine six, three weeks felt like hell for sleeping because you get so uncomfortable because you can't move. And so you get tight and stiff and you wake up in more pain than you were before you went to bed. And so I bought all this stuff to hopefully make my sleep a lot more comfortable. And so far, it's been really nice. I've slept in it twice. It'll be fine. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it'll actually be really good and I'll sleep really well and I won't be uncomfortable and it'll be really nice. I also bought jumpers. So I have this top and I bought some sweatpants. I'll insert a video here. I bought a load of sweatpants and sweat tops. I bought two sweat tops, four sweat bottoms, all ranging from 159 crowns to 179 crowns just so I could remain comfortable the entire six weeks because you won't see this girl in jeans. Well, you might, you might. You might, depending how I feel. But in my house, I'm definitely not wearing jeans. I'm just gonna wear like this and some sweat bottoms. Like, psh, these aren't one of them, but you know, you can see them. But I want to be comfortable the entire time. And I've, I've worn nicer things with my other brace because I had a job that I had to go to in person and it ruined those nicer things. I have shirts where the Velcro got stuck to it and it peeled it a little bit. I have bottoms where it did the same thing. So no, I'm not gonna wear nice things. I'm just gonna wear sweatpants and sweat tops the entire time or jumpers, whatever you wanna call them. I'm wearing comfortable clothes and I'm most likely gonna just throw these over whatever they give me so that I don't have to take it off because I just, I don't want to. I wanna put it on once and basically leave it on the entire time and only remove it when I shower. That's the only time I wanna remove this thing because it, it's annoying to take it on, take it off, take it on, take it off because you get more comfortable when it's off than when it's on and then you don't wanna go back in it because you're happier without it. <laughs> like honestly, honestly, at least that's my other brace. That's my relationship with my other brace. So those are the products that I bought and they're supposed to help me and make my life easier. And of course we can come back and I'll let you know in another video whether they actually did the job or not because I always think that that's important as a reviewer to know if something was actually worth it and made your life easier before, or I could try to use it for like the next six weeks and find it to be extremely difficult. Maybe I'll find my MacBook to just be easier after a while, or maybe my, app, my, my iPad will just become annoying. Stuff happens, and I don't think you should always believe like a first impression of any product, even like for clothes too. Like, yes, because it's not cheap right now, but I've only washed it like twice, right? Like, who knows? Maybe the third wash it falls apart. We don't know, and that's our job as reviewers to let you know later. So I will let you know how all these products go and which ones actually made my life easier and which ones didn't, you know? Maybe I found a different method that just made it better. Maybe my left arm actually got good at doing things after a while, you know, you never know. So that's what we're gonna show you and that's what we'll see you doing. So click here to see my skincare routine that I do with one arm or you can click here and see a video that YouTube recommends you and you know what? If they're the same video, 
you gotta go watch it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bring back, bring back, bring back.